So there's this harmful trope that's in science fiction and fantasy in which uh, you know, one darker skin culture will be presented as brutal or aggressive. Um, you see this most notably in a series I really love, which is Lord of the Rings. Um, you have these like tall, pale, beautiful elf creatures, and then you have these like inhuman, very aggressive, darker skinned orc creatures, right? So the problem with this is even though these worlds are fictional, they can reinforce these kind of like racist stereotypes that we hold. So as a lifelong reader of science fiction and fantasy, this is something that I was really aware of and that I took certain measures to avoid and carve the mark because anytime you're creating a mythical or fake culture, this is something that you should be thinking about. So for me, um, this kind of manifests in a couple ways like, uh, Cyrus says a couple times that it's pretty common for Shotet siblings to look different because they have this history of mixed blood. Um, and I wanted to make sure that within the ethnic groups that I'm presenting, there was a wide range of skin tones and hair textures uh, because I thought um, that would create like a more nuanced world for them. So even though Cyrus is described as having darker skin, her brother is described in the excerpt that's been online for a while as pale as a corpse. Um, and there's, there's some uh, like blonde haired, blue eyed people in this culture too. Like it's, it's supposed to be a huge intermingling. Um, on the other side, you know, there's Thuva. Akos is described as fair skin, but his siblings have light brown skin with um, dense curly hair. And so it's just supposed to be like a, an interesting mixture of, of people. Um, and I think this is important because you have to, I mean, you have to be careful with these things, especially when you're writing from a place of privilege. You don't want to communicate anything harmful with your work. Um, do no harm is like one of my, my big mottos for myself in my writing. So um, hopefully that comes across when you read it. Yeah.